Hey what's up guys Tanmay here for Simple Snippets and I'm back with another video tutorial on fuzzy set operations. So in this video tutorial we are going to be looking into the inference method for assigning membership values to fuzzy sets. Now there are several ways to assign membership values to fuzzy variables in comparison with the probability density functions to random variables. So one of this method is inference method and inference method uses knowledge to perform deductive reasoning. So we won't be getting into a lot of theory aspect, we'll just directly jump to the numerical part. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, I've written the question in white and let me just read it out. So using the inference approach, find the membership values of the triangle shapes I, R, E, I, R and T. So what are these notes? that I have written in blue. So basically I stands for isosceles triangle, E stands for equilateral triangle, R stands for right angle triangle, IR stands for isosceles and right angle triangle and T stands for other triangles. So we have to find out the membership values for each of these triangles and the formula to find out the membership value is given as follows. So for isosceles triangle we have mu of I of x comma y comma z and this x comma y comma z are the angles that they've given us in the question. So remember that x is always greater than or equal to y which is always greater than or equal to z. So in order to apply these formulas that I've written in orange, we have to follow this simple rule. So that we will always have to take the greatest angle as x, the second greatest as y and the third one as z. Now these x, y, z can also be a, b, c or any other notations but this greater than or equal to rule has to follow in order to apply these formulas. So let me just read out the formulas again. So for isosceles triangle we have mu of i of x, y, z. Basically this is the membership value which is given by 1 minus 1 upon 60 and minimum of x minus y and y minus z. So if you don't follow this x greater than y greater than z rule then these values will change in the formula. Similarly for equilateral triangle we have another formula and so on for the other triangles as well. So let's directly start to apply these formulas and let's find out the membership values for each of these triangles. So first we have for isosceles triangle. Now in this case we've been given the angles of 45, 55 and 80. So here x is going to be the largest angle that is 80, y is going to be 55 and z is going to be 45. So this is because of this rule that is x greater than y greater than z. So now calculating the membership value for isosceles triangle which is given by mu of i of x comma y comma z which is again given by 1 minus 1 by 60 minimum of x minus y comma y minus z. So let me just substitute the x and y values over here. So this will be 1 minus 1 upon 60 minimum of so x minus y would be 80 minus 55 and y minus z would be 55 minus 45. So solving the subtraction we will get 1 minus 1 by 60 minimum of 20 comma 10 so we know the minimum out of 20 and 10 is 10 so this would again give us 1 minus 1 by 60 into 10 so 0 0 gets cancelled and further solving this we will get the answer of 0 0.8 3. So this is our final answer for the isosceles triangle. Similarly, we have to find out the values for equilateral triangle, right angle triangle, isosceles right angle triangle and other triangles. So you can quickly note down these formulas because these formulas are very important and this is what basically you are going to need in order to solve these problems and these problems are very pretty straightforward. They have given everything in the question and you just need to know that you have to assign values as x greater than y greater than z. So the largest one is going to be x, the second largest is going to be y and the third largest angle is going to be z. And then you just simply have to remember these formulas and put all the values that they, they have given and they will most probably give you the angles directly. So just substitute the angles and you will get the final answers. So we just solve the first one let's solve the second one so for the second one we have the formula of e which is given by mu of e of x comma y comma z which is given by 1 minus 1 upon 80 of x minus z so solving and substituting the value of x and z in this formula we will get 1 minus 1 upon 180 into x is 80 and z is 45 so this would give us 1 minus 1 upon 180 into 35 so further solving this we will get the final answer of 0 0.8056 so this is the final answer now you can keep a scientific calci with you to perform these calculations because you don't want to make silly mistakes over here because these are very straightforward numericals so that's it for this equilateral triangle now let's see for the right angle triangle so for the right right angle triangle that is mu r of x comma y comma z we have the formula of 1 minus 1 upon 90 mod of 
x minus 90. So remember this is a modulo sign and any negative value is going to be converted to positive. So let's substitute the value of x over here. So we have 1 minus 1 upon 90 mod of 80 minus 90. So 80 minus 90 would give us minus 10 but since it is inside a mod this minus sign will go off and it will be converted to a positive value. So we will have 1 minus 1 upon 90 into 10. So for the solving this we will get the final answer of 0 0.8 889. So this is it for the right angle triangle. Now let's see isosceles and right angle triangle. For the isosceles right angle triangle the formula is pretty simple and it is given by IR which is equal to mu IR and the formula is minimum of mu I comma mu R and we already have calculated mu I and mu R so the values of mu I and mu R are as follows 0.833 comma 0.889. So the minimum out of these two is 0.833. So this is directly going to be our answer. So this was pretty straightforward and for the last one we have a different formula so let's apply that as well. So the last one is for other triangles that is denoted by T and the formula is mu of T which is equal to minimum of 1 minus mu of I comma 1 minus mu of E comma 1 minus mu of I of R. So basically in order to calculate mu of T that is the membership value for other triangles you have to calculate all the values of these other triangles as well. So you need the values of mu of I mu of E and mu of IR to calculate the answer of mu of T. So if in case in your question it is asked that you have to calculate only for other it basically means that you have to calculate all these other values as well. So since we have already calculated all these values let me just substitute them. So just substituting the values and subtracting them from 1 we will get minimum of 0 0.167 comma 0 0.194 comma 0 0.111 and the minimum out of these three is 0 0.111. So this is the final answer. So that's it for this video tutorial and this numerical. So this was pretty simple. You just have to remember these formulas and the most important thing you need to remember is this property that is x is greater than y is greater than z. So whenever the angles are given always consider the largest angle as x or A or whatever the notations you have. So if you have your A, B and C or P, Q, R or whatever the just the letters will change in this formula as well and always assign the largest as A or X or whatever the number and similarly or accordingly you have to make changes in the formula. So these are only two things that you need to remember otherwise the numerical is pretty simple and straightforward. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood the numerical and if you have any queries you can always put them in the comment section and if you like this video give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Peace.